What's the crack, lads? Welcome back. Another player review. We've got club icons today. Um, yeah, I mean, this is a nominating contract one as well. But look, lads, I'm going to be 100% honest with you. A lot of these players are just pointless now because, you know, they gave us free Messi. They gave us free players. They gave us five free French agents. I'm going to have a chat about that in a future video. But yeah, I mean, a lot of these players are just going to be pointless. There's no real point in getting them. I think this guy, Ta, and then Declan Rice, Berardi, uh, are, are pretty decent for five stars but you know are they must-haves I think Declan Rice is probably a really good option here he's a kind of a unique card um, but there is different versions of him if you've got the previous packs such as the England pack uh, I also think that Coleman is a nice three star if you're looking to get somebody like that I mean Buffon I don't understand Buffon looks like he's cutting onions man he looks like he that's the face I make when I'm making the dinner cutting onions he looks like he's crying man he's fighting the tears but yeah, Buffon, again, a lot of these players are just completely pointless, man, because there's no point training them up at all because they don't go high enough. Um, Munayin isn't a bad option for a four-star either, but look, we're going to go through them, right? So first up, we've got Nuno Sequeira. This guy has got unwavering form. He's got B rating, not bad. Obviously, sliding tackle, fighting spirit, pinpoint crossing. Uh, 31 levels to go as well, which isn't bad. Look, it isn't, you know, massively bad. But you're not going to get a really good left back here. Like, this is what you're kind of talking about when you look at training up somebody like this. Uh, lower body strength is even with 12 put into that. You're still only getting 81 speed. Defensively, he's not that solid either. So this is kind of the problem a lot of these cards face. Same with Coleman here. We've been maxed out. Um, yeah, you can get his defending up quite good. You can get his dexterity up for a three star. He's not bad at all. Um, but I do think that there's better options than him there. You know, there's just better options. Even his standard card, his standard card goes up to 45 levels. So you're going to have a very similar card um, compared to this three star. It's just helping you out a little bit. So yeah, little things like that. I just think that they're kind of pointless. We've also got the same problem with Shelby, even though he's got really good passing skills. Look at that speed and acceleration. You're not really going to get away with that if you're a division four or upwards. Like it's fine getting to division five or four if you're just playing it casually but if you're looking to take the next step you're not going to have these players in your squad that's just my opinion um we've also got dante here as well dante is a player that look he is fairly okay like if you're going to be maxing out his stats with defense he does have unwavering form um you're going to have 91 defensive awareness 91 tackling and 86 aggression but the speed don't worry too much about the speed you're going to put in a few into his header as well um not bad but again for a three star he's not bad uh buff on for a three star i mean this is just a pointless card in my opinion if you're going bringing out a buff on card lads right just bring him out as a really like i mean they're practically this is why i don't understand right and it's a bit of a rant but i'll get into it in a future video right they're practically giving us away free messi and free mbappe with the french pack right two of the best players in the game but like why not just have a nominating contract buff on with like 30 levels to put him up to like a 94 overall and have the goalkeeper reflexes like you know 90 plus so that he's feasible i mean they're giving the cards away that are of equal value anyway out the pitch so why not just have it that you could play buff on there you know um 82 reflexes maxed out is just not enough even if you were to just max out his reflexes and bring it up you're still not going to be able to get it up over 90 which makes this goalkeeper absolutely worthless in my opinion uh Munayin, good option if you're looking for a four star um you do have the acceleration the speed the dribbling he's a good player man uh one of my favorite players he's also got unwavering form um where are we sorry lads i wasn't on the screen um and he does max out quite nicely as well but again it's just kind of another pointless addition there uh unless you're going to make him a really really good version like that i know it's a nominating contract and stuff but yeah i just don't know if, it, if it's going to be worth it um rakitic another interesting choice Maybe you might want to have Rakitic because he's got some unusual stats, unwavering form, B rating, really nice player skills, including double touch, one touch pass, true pass, and weighted pass, pinpoint crossing, and uh, amazing run as a play style with long ball expert and long ranger. Um, you know, not bad, maxed out, 90 in the low pass, 92 in the lofted pass. Nice and solid centre midfielder, but there's just so many better options out there that have that passing and, and have the bit of pace that he lacks aspas they released a free version of him on the marketplace for the eFootball points there a couple of weeks back as well i think he's still there his standard version is quite decent as well he goes 25 um 
uh, player levels. But this is what I'm talking about, right? This version of him is way better. Obviously, this version is going to be down everything and he's got less levels. This should be the way the club icons are done. And there's a couple of questionable choices in here as, you know, club icons. Um, this guy isn't bad at all. If you wanted to kind of max out his finishing and stuff, you're going to get 89 finishing, 82 acceleration, 84 balance and 88 offensive awareness. But it goes back to it. Are you going to be playing him ahead of Mbappe, who was free a couple of weeks ago? Doubtful. We've also got Berardi. If you're using Berardi, lads, you need to be able to shoot with him because he's got really nice curling uh, ability when you are shooting with him. So that's just something to keep an eye on. But his unwavering form is not there. He does have just the standard form, which is a pity as well on this card. Heel trick, first time shot, one touch pass, pinpoint crossing. He also has long ranger. He has long range curler and shooting. So you need to be able to shoot a little bit with him. But it goes back to it. You should have your free Messi doing that job for you now. So... Yeah, left-footed Messi is going to be better than him, and he's on deep form as well this week, which is a bit of a pity. We've also got Ta. Now, this guy is interesting, right? He's an absolute monster. Uh, 88 header ability, 95 physical contact. So this is what I'm talking about when you're having some unique players in these nominating contracts. This is a good player, Les. This is a very, very good player, actually, because you've got everything that you possibly want in Ta, right? You've got interception, blocker, and aerial superiority. He's 195 centimeters, Form isn't going to worry too much about that. Speed isn't too bad either. When we train him up, he's going to have 76 speed. Forget about acceleration. Don't need to worry too much about that. In fact, I would probably reduce that, lads. If you're going to be using this player, you're going to be using him as just an absolute animal at the back and maybe bring up his aerial ability to 90 and 97 physical contact or else you could pump two more into um, that to get his tackling up. Forget about his, his speed um if you don't want to do that like obviously you can throw in two into speed there to bring it up 72 but that is where i would probably have him there if i was uh you 93 overall he goes to a pretty decent option and then last but not least we have declan rice Declan rice himself interception he's got a very nice card right i do like this card for Rice. um obviously the england card is going to be uh, kind of very very similar um you know you do have unwavering for our standard form which is a pity but you do have interception and fighting spirit and weighted pass and his england card is going to be slightly better in my opinion in terms of being able to train him up just that little bit better because of the balance in the tight possession but it's not you know it's negligible as it's really really uh going to be very similar um i do think as well that they've all got the player cards and the same player cards as they do there obviously um this one had a different uh couple of skills but yeah, this is not a bad card, lads, because you're going to be maxing out his defensive capabilities. 91 tackling, 88 defensive awareness with 78 speed, 93 stamina, and 84 low pass. So he is probably my pick of it. Would I actually buy him myself? Probably not, because I've got Paddy V, Makalele, Tenali. I've got just the who's who, really, of everything. But um, yeah, 11 players there. Let me know what you guys think. Are you going to spin or skip? And are you disappointed with this selection? I will talk to you later. Peace. Don't forget to subscribe.